everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a full bicep adjustment on the adult onyx two-piece sleeve. So we're going to start out by getting all of the materials we need. So what I've done is gone ahead and traced out my pattern pieces onto paper. This is because I normally use a projector. So I'm going to trace from the projector onto the pieces. You can also just use your print pieces if you use the print file. I'm going to need a measuring tape, a scissors or a rotary cutter, an extra piece of paper, a pen, and I have a calculator if you're like me who can't do mental math very well. Uh, you're also going to want to have some tape for a little bit later and some extra pieces of paper. So let's get started. We're going to want to work out some measurements before we start. My size that I'm sewing is a size four. This is based on my upper bust measurement. The measurement chart has a size four bicep of 10.625. My measurement is 11.5, which means I need to make a full bicep adjustment of 0.875 inches. Now this is all in inches. The next thing we're going to do is determine how much of the size four, in my case, sleeve is in the top sleeve and how much of it is in the bottom sleeve. So I'm going to take my measuring tape or a ruler and measure from this bottom point here on the upper sleeve all the way across to the edge. So I'm going to get 8.5 on that. I'm gonna write that measurement here this is my top sleeve and my bottom sleeve and I'm going to measure from this point here all the way across is around 6.25 inches. The next thing I'm going to do is add together my top sleeve and bottom sleeve measurement. In this case it equals 14.75. I'm then going to take 6.25 and divide that by 14.75. And this is going to give us the percent of sleeve that's on the bottom. And I'm gonna do the same thing, the 8.5 divided by 14.75 to get the percent of sleeve that's on the top. So using my calculator in this case, this is going to equal 42%. And then my 8.5 divided by 14.75 is going to give me 58%. You can also just take 100% and subtract the 42 to get the 58, okay? Now, what that means is I've got a difference of 0.875. I need to know how much of that width to add to the top sleeve and how much of that width to add to the bottom sleeve, which is why we've done this math here. So I'm gonna take 0.875 and I'm going to multiply it by 0.42. Then I'm gonna again take the 0.875 and multiply it by 0.58. When I got the answer from 0.875 times 0.42, I've rounded that number up to be a number that I can actually find on my ruler, which is 0.375, which leaves me then only half an inch, 0.5, to add to my bottom sleeve. So this is how much I'm adding, sorry, this is how much I'm adding to my bottom sleeve. And this is how much I'm adding to my top sleeve, 0.5 inch to the top and 0.375 inch to the bottom sleeve. So now that we have those numbers, we're gonna start making adjustments to our actual pieces. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler and I am going to draw a straight line from your center marking point here. And we're going to go all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to do that same marking on my bottom sleeve from this center bottom marking all the way down to the bottom. I'm then going to draw a straight line from my bottom point here all the way across. 
and I'm going to draw a straight line again from the bottom point of this curve all the way across. Now that we have these lines drawn, I'm going to cut them. So the, from the one from the top to the bottom, I'm going to cut it from all the way on the top, almost all the way to the bottom, leaving a little bit it's still attached at the bottom so I have a pivot point. And the side to side lines, I'm going to cut from the center out and leaving a little bit of material here and a little bit of material here for the pivot point. So let's go ahead and cut those lines. And I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom sleeve. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to place it underneath the sleeve, ca sleeve caps of both of my pieces. Sleeve cap and the bottom of the sleeve. I then want to go ahead and open this piece up here, the bottom, so we're pivoting at the bottom, the bottom pivot point. We're gonna open this and that's going to be the amount of my adjustment. So on my top sleeve, the amount of my adjustment, based on our calculations before, was 0.5 inches. So I am going to take this and I want to increase the 0.5 inches exactly where the bicep is here. So I'm going to take my ruler or my measuring tape. And I am going to measure 0.5 inches at the bicep point here. And I'm going to go ahead and tape this into place. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pivot this top piece down. Now I'm going to pivot it down half of the amount that we opened it up in here. And I'm going to do that on both sides. I found the easiest way to do that is to get my measuring tape. So I increase this by 0.5 inches. I'm going to increase this by, uh, sorry, lower this by 0.25 inches. So I'm gonna make a marking here and I'm going to make a marking here. That's 0.25 inches. So I'm going to pivot this down this way and I'm going to pivot this down this way. So that, that is pivoted in just a bit. And I'm going to take tape those in place. Like that. Thing and redraw this curve in. Now I'm going to adjust my bottom sleeve. So I am once again, I've taped this side down I am going to measure from my measurements, which my bottom sleeve is 0.375, which is 3 eighths of an inch. So I'm going to measure that out 3 eighths of an inch. And I'm going to tape it down. Again, I'm just pivoting at the bottom pivot point that we cut before here. Then I am going to bring these down once again, half of 0.375. Um, which in this case is a very small measurement, so I'm just going to kind of eyeball. I'm going to find my 3 8 inch and I'm going to go about right, right halfway through. And tape that. And then the same amount on the other side. And tape that. Whoops. Again, just right about in the middle, 3 8 inch. And I'm going to redraw my, my line across here. So it'll be like that. Now I am going to measure the distance here. Now I'm measuring just from the one inch line because this, again, this piece here kind of gets in the way. 
So measuring there, um, I have a distance of again about three eighths inch. So that one's going to stay the same. So now that I've measured these gaps here, so this one is 0.375, this one here is 0 0.25. 0 0.25 plus 3, 0.375 is 0.625. We then want to take the 0.625 and divide that by 2, which is going to equal 0.3125. Now, once again, just for ease, what I'm going to say is 0.375. Now what this is measuring is how much I need to adjust the arm side by. Now we divided this distance by two because we have a front piece and we have a back piece. So each of my arm size, my front arm side, my back arm side, I'm going to need to adjust by 0.375 inches. I want to show you another adjustment, again using the size four pieces, but with a bigger adjustment because it does look a little bit different. So in this case, I'm my difference is two inches. So the size four bicep calls for 10.625. My bicep is 12.625, 12, uh, 12 which is a difference of two inches. Doing the same calculations I did before, so 14.75 inches for the total. The bottom is 42%, the top is 58%. And when I work that out, um, again, I've rounded these to numbers that I can actually measure on my measuring tape. I'm getting 7 eighths of an inch for the bottom sleeve to adjust and 1.125, uh, which is 1 and 1, eighths, 1 and 1 eighths inch for my top sleeve to adjust. So we'll do the top sleeve first. So we're going to do the exact same thing we did before. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and tape this here. I'm going to pivot the bottom so that my difference here is my 1.125. So in this case, I'm going to measure out. I'm starting not on the edge of this because this little piece here can, can alter my measurements. I'm starting on the one, the one measurement. And I am going to measure out one and one eighth inch. So one and one eighth inch here. I am then going to rotate this back and I'm going to put a piece of tape there. So you can see that is what my sleeve looks like now. It's rotated from the bottom all the way to the top. And then again, I'm going to drop these pieces by one half of this measurement here. So one half of 1.125. is 0.56. Again, we're going to adjust that to something we can actually measure, which would be 0.6, uh, sorry, from 0.56, we'll just say a little bit more than one half inch. So, um, sorry, I, yeah, so, so from here, I am going to measure down a little bit more than one half inch. And on this one here, I'm going to measure down again a little bit more than one half inch. I'm going to pull that down like that and tape that. Pull that down like that and tape that. That. And then I'm going to just connect this, redraw this here, and I'm going to measure what that gap was or is now, and I'm going to get 3 eighths of an inch. Now I'm gonna adjust my bottom sleeve, again using the calculations we made earlier. So I'm going to tape this in place. I need to adjust it by 0.875, which is 7 eighths of an inch. Once again, rotating at that bottom pivot point there.
And then I'm going to take 0.875, divide that by two. That's gonna give me 0.43. So once again, that's kind of a funny measurement. So I am just going to go a little bit more, oops, sorry, down, a little bit more than 3 eighths of an inch, but a little bit less than 0.5 inches. So there. And the same distance on this one. There. And this one, we're going to redraw this curve like this. So it goes up like that. Once again, we're going to measure this distance, which is about the same at about 7 eighths inch. And then once again, we're going to add together the 0.875 and the 0.375. And that's going to give us 1.25. We're going to divide that by 2. And that's going to give us 0.625 inches, which is the same thing as 5 eighths of an inch. That is the amount that we need to adjust our arm side by on both the front pieces and the back pieces, which we'll do now. And this is what the sleeves adjusted look like. Again, you can trace around the sleeves. Um, you can just cut out this paper, leaving that, and use that as your pattern piece, however you decide you'd like to do it. When adjusting the front and back bodice, depending, depending upon how much you need to adjust it by, that will depend on how we do the adjustment. So in my first example, I did the adjustment as a, a smaller adjustment, which was just a 0 0.8, 75 inch adjustment. So when we do that, we only need to adjust the arm size by, by 0.375. Anything less than one half an inch um, really can be just done by lowering the arm size a little bit. So when we're doing this, all we're going to do is find our 3 8 inch mark. I'm going to mark it on the front side. And I'm going to mark it on the back side. And then I'm just going to draw my curve. So I'm lowering it by 3 8 of an inch. And that should be enough of an adjustment. So I would just cut along there and that would be my new, my new arm side on both my front and my back pieces. Now, when we did the larger adjustment for the difference of two inches, we got a much bigger adjustment that's going to need to be made on the arm size. Um, we have five eighths of an inch. When you have a five eighths inch adjustment, simply lowering it is gonna end up causing this to look a little bit funny. So we actually need to do a bit more of adjustment on the front side and back side pieces. So I'm just gonna flip these around so that you don't see those lines so those lines aren't, aren't confusing. Now we're going to, as I said, adjust the front and back arm size by 5 eighths of an inch, but we're going to do it in two different places. So we're going to take the 5 eighths inch and we're going to divide it by 2. Now again, just for ease, although it's a little bit less, we're going to say that 5 eighths divided by 2 is 3 eighths of an inch because otherwise it gets a little bit difficult trying to find um, in-betweens on the measuring tape. So we're going to adjust the front arm side by 3 eighths inch in two different places and the back arm side by 3 eighths inch in two different places. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw, we're gonna go about halfway through the arm side and we're going to draw a line 
We're going to make sure that this is um, straight here. And we're going to draw a line straight down. And then, just about there, we're going to draw a line across here. And then we're going to draw another line just about here. We're going to do the same for the back. Let me make sure that's straight. I'm going to draw a line straight down. Straight across. And again, just a little bit from the edge there, straight down. And I am going to completely cut. We don't need to add any pivot points along this line, along this bottom line, and along this top line here. So now I have these little pieces. The next thing I'm going to do is take my measuring tape. And again, I'm going to do 3 eighths inch. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop this top piece here by 3 eighths of an inch. And we're going to drop this top piece here by 3 eighths of an inch. You can also do the measuring from down here if you feel like that's easier. So again, we're going to stay on that line and we're just going to drop that down. And we're drop what, what's happening is we're dropping the arm curve down a little bit. Again, stay on that line and we're going to drop that down. And I'm just going to tape that into place. And then I'm going to put just a piece of paper under here because I'm going to be adjusting this arm side a little bit. And this side here, the bottom of it. So that's just again to give us something to tape to. So from this point here, I'm going to measure outwards by once again 3 eighths of an inch. So again, we add our 3 eighths, we, our 3 eighths, we get around the 5 eighths, the 6 eighths, but that tiny little bit of a difference isn't going to make um, a difference. So again, we're going to measure 3 eighths inch here, and we're going to measure 3 eighths inch here. And I'm going to put this piece there. And there. So our arm side curve is now going to come like this. So what we want to do is just smooth that line out a little bit. Take it to this end again here. Smooth this line out just a little bit. Sorry, it should go like this. Smooth this line out. Take it to the end. Ignore this line. We're following that line that we dropped it. And then what we want to do is we want to gradually grade this line back down to our waistline. So I actually need to put a little bit more paper here and naturally grade it down to the waistline and then continue just along there. So we're just smoothing this curve out and then we will do the same thing here. So again here, taking it from here, smoothing it out. Once again, we'll put a little bit more piece of paper there, but you get the idea so that it smooths out to there. And those are our adjusted arm side pieces so that they match the additional uh, sleeve width that we added. And then you're ready to go um, from there. You just use, once again, cut along here or retrace the whole thing, cut along here or retrace the whole thing, and uh, use those as your front and back uh, side pieces. You don't need to adjust anything else for this adjustment. 
I hope that helps. Thank you, everyone.